What's up everybody? It's Aaron the Hammer Haynes and you might know me from bands like Tanafor, Deadweight, Link Letter, Remain in Vain, and more recently the Brass Cats. Ska band here. And uh yeah, I've made the switch, the unofficial switch to a head drumsticks. I'm no longer using wooden drumsticks and uh we're gonna talk about I had drumsticks for a bit and the models that I'm using and my experience with a head drumsticks. Uh, let me open this uh, cold one here and we'll get started. And I got an unboxing here of some new uh, head products. Well, new for me anyways. And yeah, let's talk about a head drumsticks. I made the unofficial switch. Um, a head drumsticks and uh, Wooden drumsticks are kind of like, the best way I can explain it is like traditional wooden baseball bats and the aluminum baseball bats. And these are like the aluminum baseball bats of drumsticks. Um, I had drumsticks, um, has an aluminum core alloy um, in the handle and inside. And it has these polyurethane uh, sleeves or covers that you can replace. And the number one thing, man, is they never break with proper heating technique and playing technique and the proper angle of your drums and cymbals and how you hit them properly these will never break man and i have yet to replace um a sleeve or cover on on these ahead drumsticks and it's just it's just it just feels great the great thing about these ahead drumsticks is uh, they last long like six times longer than wooden drumsticks they feel the same every time you pick them up. They weigh the same, and uh, when you're when you're playing and and you have and the only thing you worry about is uh, what you're playing and what you're doing and uh, the song and crowd reaction live. Um, that's it, man. Uh, that's great. And uh, the great thing about these uh, head drumsticks is you really only have to buy one pair of each model because. Well, why would you get like 10 of the same pair um, since you since you can replace these covers and they always feel the same and, and they last long unless you're like Lars Ulrich who has like 30 of the same pair right right here I have the most popular model the uh, Lars Ulrich Metallica head drum six this is the uh, original OG uh, Metallica Lars Ulrich signature model so we'll talk about that later. But let's open this box. Uh, shout out to Sweetwater, Sweetwater for um, sending, to, sending this to me. They always have everything in stock. And we're gonna open this up. So in the box here, I got a new pair of Ahead drumsticks. I'm slowly um, expanding my uh, Ahead drumsticks. These aren't cheap. Ahead drumsticks are uh, 30 bucks, I believe or so for a pair but they last long so in the long run um it pays to get ahead drumsticks a lot of them i'm kind of damaged there but i'm not here for the box i'm just here for the sticks and um i got a stick bag because uh, again i made the unofficial switch so no disrespect to the wooden drumsticks i've been using prior for a really 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 long time but yeah here it here is one of their stick bags that they offer they have um, a couple of color combinations I I like the black and red and this is a premium stick bag the new standard for protection the head armor cases so a head makes quite a few um, products here and one of their other great products aside from the drumsticks is their um, drum cases and drum bags uh, and, and uh, stick bags right here so let's just take off the tagging here uh, so I am excited to put my ahead drumsticks in these uh, stick bags I'll show you all my ahead drumsticks that I have so far and I'm always expanding it's got a nice premium feeling uh plush it's kind of like a faux fur right here to cradle your drumstick you have your outside storage compartment here for 
your uh, wing nuts, your drum keys, other small parts, tools and stuff. And then you got these parts here for uh, your specialty sticks. And of course, these two com <coughs> these two compartments here for your drumsticks. So I would imagine your extra drumsticks here is that you um, don't use that much. And your go-to drumsticks right here that uh, that, that are your go-tos. So um, I'm going to exp explaining most of my ahead drumsticks. But let's take a look at the newest ahead drumstick. Well, new for me that I just uh, got. And I have after this, I have all the Lars Ulrich models. So there's several different Lars Ulrich models. There's the OG one that I just showed you right here. That one's pretty beefy. That one's pretty heavy. Um, there's a scary guy, and this is the scary guy light. So the scary guy light, compared to the original Lars Ulrich model, is it's a little bit lighter. They're all the same uh, feeling, uh, the same uh, in the grip, and the same length, and the same taper here. Um, this is a long taper, so they both they all have long tapers. And um, it's just the weight. That's the only key difference. So, original Lars Ulrich, pretty beefy, pretty heavy, 2B style stick. And then you have the Scary Guy, a little bit medium weight, a little bit lighter. And then you have the Scary Guy Light, which is a little bit lighter. A lot, a little bit lighter than the uh, regular Scary Guy. And what I mean by Scary Guy is... Um, a little caricature here I'll show you the I'll show you the other scary guy uh, model but this is the scary guy light there's Lars Ulrich uh, signature there's Metallica logo this is nice red I like a brand new a head drumstick this is great and when you see uh, when you read um, some of the information right here it'll tell you 58 grams is the weight on this stick and I don't know exactly the scary the regular scary guy might be 59 or 60 and um, the original Metallica is 65 grams so considerably heavier than the than this model so I don't know exactly which one uh, Lars Ulrich uses um, currently he might switch off depending on the song but he definitely uses all of these signature sticks so now that uh, I have my couple of sticks here I'll show you the rest of the sticks that I have um, we can start putting these on I can't wait to use these ones and uh, yeah I'm so excited to make the unofficial switch to a head drumsticks um, in the long run, you're saving money, and and if you have proper playing technique and hitting technique, you might not even have to replace um, these polyurethane covers. Because this is how it looks. I don't know if you can see it on the uh, screen here. I mean, you have dents and, and nicks, but other than that, it's still a good stick. Uh, uh, still a good sleeve and cover that where you don't have to uh, to um, replace them just yet unless you want to but and another great thing is you can replace the tips too with any tip you want you want a mallet you want a ball tip you want an acorn tip you want a teardrop tip looking tip uh, they got it and yeah excited for that so let's head back to the kit and I'll show you some other models. Okay, so we're here at the kit and I got all my head drumsticks in my new head uh, drumsticks carrying bag. And we're gonna talk about some of the uh, models that I have. Actually, all of the models, a little bit of a little bit about them in my experience with the head. So currently I'm using the uh, this kind of like 5A, 5B hybrid. This is probably the one. Um, I'm in between a 5A and a 5B. Um, 
you can really bash this thing, you can really groove this thing, you can finesse this thing. It's got a 5B, uh, uh, 5B handle, which I like. Anything skinnier than that uh, doesn't really feel great to me. And it's got the 5A towards the rest of the stick right here. And this thing is works wonders. It feels great. You, uh, you can really bash it and you can really um, play some softer, you know, subtle grooves with this uh, particular drumstick. And again, it always feels the same, it always weighs the same. And um, yeah, as you can see, I get, uh, you, you, can, you, you can't see the, uh, the markings on it at all because of all the sweat and it just came right off. And yeah, that's the 5A, 5B Studio, I believe. I think Ricky Rocket has a similar um, stick design. His signature stick is based off of this one. And then this is the 5A, 5B Studio, I think. There's a 5A, 5B hybrid uh, live uh, version, I think, which is a little bit longer by like a quarter inch. I don't know exactly. But this 5A, 5B hybrid um, does it for me. Uh, it's in between a 5A and a 5B. So if you, like a 3A, uh, a head doesn't offer a 3A. For a long time, I've been using a 3A wooden drumstick. And then again, when I switched to a head, it was like night and day. I'm, I'm not going back to wooden drumsticks. Um, so this is the one of the current models that I'm using um, a lot. So this one right here, you'll see me using these uh, the most and then I have the and the other videos way back I have the fat beat 5a which is another great model that's in between a 5a and a 5b and I added some cool felt handles and it's white so and that's another thing they should offer more um, colors that'd be great but this one has a white uh, sleeve cover design so and it's medium taper so if i wanted to go back to a black one i can switch that back to a black one but there's a nice white color adds a nice little touch and yeah this this uh generates a a nice uh a fat beat um a, a feeling a feeling a groove when you hit with the drums and cymbals so you're getting a nice fat sound with the, uh, with these uh, pair of drumsticks, and um, so those are the two current models I'm using. Some of the older models that I don't use as much anymore, and kind of like painted this one crappily, is the original 5A, and this was the first uh, model from a head that I tried that they suggested to me. Um, it's all right, uh, but it's a little thin sounding and. It, you get yeah it's just a little thin a little too thin sounding for me so um but that was the model i started out with the original this one's a more of a beat up um a head 5a and my history with the head was someone in high school band when i was in 11th grade i believe or 10th grade i don't remember exactly brought in the og lars ulrich uh drumsticks that he got from Guitar Center, I'm sure, to uh, show everybody. Because I was in a high school band, I was in the uh, pit. I was never in the battery section. And yeah, he brought that over. I was like, wow, cool. But I really didn't know at the time, you know, the, the significance and the, uh, the monstrosity of these uh, head drumsticks until maybe four or five five years later when I was more serious into drumming and um, I got to try out one of the head 5A's and that was between 2005 and 2008 or 2007 when I was uh, experimenting with a head and in, within the past few years I've been switching back between uh, a head and wooden and my previous wooden um, drumstick company but now i think it was the right time to make the switch the unofficial switch and go ahead full force because 
with the wooden drumsticks, I was getting hand fatigue and wrist pain. But with these drumsticks, since it absorbs a lot of the shock and you know, the rebound is still there and it's still great. Um, I don't have any hand fatigue at all. My wrists feel great and I play a lot better versus the traditional wood stick, no disrespect. But you know, to each their own. Uh, some drummers will prefer wood. Some drummers will prefer these uh, polyurethane aluminum core drumsticks because of the feel. For me, if you want to be playing better for uh, for long periods of time without any uh, pain, and you want to be playing correctly, um, go for a headman. So let's let's get, let's dive deep into more of the drumsticks I have here. I have the speed metal drumsticks. I think Joey Jordison at one point used these sticks. Um, these are these are nice feeling sticks if you want to go fast. Um, you can get power out of them. They're a little too short. They're shorter than the average stick. These are like 15 and something inches. The normal sticks is 16 inches, about the length of a floor tom. But I added my signature felt here to get some interesting sounds. But yeah, that's the speed metal sticks. They're a little bit shorter. If you if you want more reach, go for the uh, the 16 inches or longer. And then, like I said in the uh, earlier, there's the Lars Ulrich Scary Guy light here. Uh, the Scary Guy, original Scary Guy. Um, the Scary Guy light is the one I just got. So, three different Lars Ulrich models available. And, uh, yeah, those are my Ahead drumsticks. I'm excited to be playing ahead unofficially because I have been playing with them. And some of the other models I'm willing to check out. I'm definitely willing to check out the uh, Max 5A. Um, I'm willing to check out the Ricky Rocket model because it has a nice green color to it. But I know it's just uh, similar to uh, this uh, hybrid 5A, 5B, and um, the Phil Rude, definitely ACDC's powerhouse of a drummer. He has a nice feeling stick. I'm willing to check that out too. But yeah, I mean, one of each is all you need. I wouldn't, you know, unless you're Lars Ulrich who has like 30 of the same pair, I wouldn't get like two of the same pair because you can always replace the covers and, um, it just made for me. It just makes sense to get to get um, one of whatever a head drumstick you're, you're 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 playing. So I'm excited. Can't wait to put more stuff in here and get more head products. But so far, my head drumstick collection and lineup is uh, ever so growing. So comment, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Let me know if, what you think about these a head drumsticks. I'm pretty stoked about them. If this is your first time getting a head drumsticks, you're in for a treat. These will help you in the long run. They will save you money. They will save you time, frustration, and uh, you won't have to buy any more drum drumsticks. I mean, after you have all these. And again, last six times longer than traditional wooden drumsticks. So in my, Honest opinion, if it's your first time, go for it. You'll notice a difference. I never went back to wooden. I, c I could never go back to wooden after this. But it's been a long time coming. And yeah, let me know what you think. How your drumming has improved with these uh, drumsticks. And um, I'll see you in the next video. Keep on rocking. Keep on going ahead. And uh, see you out there.